this Zuma Ahmed for IFL TV. We're in Riyadh. It's just after the weigh-in. One of the most beautiful settings I've been on planet Earth, really, Frank, this hotel in, in Riyadh. I know, it's amazing. This is like a movie premiere. You know, a blockbuster movie premiere. It's amazing. But um, everybody's out for it. I've told you all along. This is going to be something special, but it's, it's eclipsed anything I thought it would be. We're here at gala dinner. I've just seen, well, you've got Rio Ferdinand just walking in. I've seen Cristiano Ronaldo. I've even seen the original Ronaldo. R9 himself, yeah. uh, Tyson Fury, Mike Tyson, star study lineup here. Yeah, I mean, there's 60 world champions here. 60 former world champions, you know, real boxing greats, great heavyweights from all different weights. Some of the great British fighters here, you know, Joe Kalzak is here, um, uh, Rick is here, Amir Khan's here, um, Lennox is here. Loads and loads of them coming. Frank, I'll I know we're cut for time here. We haven't spoke on camera since your interview with Simon Jordan on Talk Sport, which was very heated, back and forth. Um, as you reflect on that a couple of days after, what did you think about Simon's questions and some of the things he was saying to you? I've got no problem with his questions. Like I say, everybody's entitled to an opinion, but, it's got, but in, their, in, their, in the instance of what was being said, what led up to all this, it's not an informed opinion. And that's it, and people, you know, uh, me, I can, I can get on with it, and, you know, no one's banned, that's what was really pissing me off, saying banned. We weren't banned, it's just the, the, the fight wasn't, so, wasn't sold to a talk sport. No one's banned them from coming in, it could be here today doing what you're doing. I mean, Simon said that Tyson's a child. Thoughts on that? Uh, look, he's, Simon's, Simon's entitled, to say, to his opinion, and like I said to him, you know, no doubt when you see him one day, you'll tell him that to his face. Do you think they'll ever cover a Tyson Fury fight again, TalkSport? It's getting worse and worse. But look, what you th you're doing an interview on radio, you say your piece, they interrupt you all the time, most of the time. I'm not, I'm not saying it's about Simon, most, that happens a lot. They interrupt. And then you stop the interview, and then they carry on and have the last say. Will you carry on having a relationship with TalkSport? Yeah, of course I will. I've got no problem with... I've got no problem in doing what we do and, and, and it's good that sport has outlets. However, there is a situation here that is, 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 is badly broken and I, I'm, I don't want to get into what's going on in the background because I've been speaking in the background to, to people there, but it has been bad. The things that were said about Tyson, some of the things that were said were totally untrue and outrageous. He was never, never the culprit for this fight happening. And all this nonsense we've been waiting for ages to happen. Will you tell me a big fight like this that takes place, what is it, roughly 18 months after he had his, his uh, rematch with Frank Bruno? 18 months? Frank, do you know, do you know how long it took for Tyson, Tyson Fury? Uh, sorry, Ty Mike Tyson and Lennox, about a decade. Yeah. And you know what? There's loads of them. This will probably be the quickest one ever. And it would have been earlier had they not gone off and signed with Skills Challenge. Listen, Frank, let's stop talking about talk sport. Enjoy your probably seven-course meal at that gala dinner. It's eight, actually. <laughs> Thank you.